first glance, these landscape paintings you see don't appear out of the ordinary, but in fact they were produced by a computer program. The painting Fool software works independently of human influence. Pretty impressive stuff. Yeah, but is it really a creative work? <laughs> We usually think of creativity as a human construct, unique only to us. You can think of it in evolutionary terms, where ingenuity would be an adaptive ability that allowed us to be better storytellers and have a more nuanced understanding of the world and others. It's also a prominent feature of problem solving and a way to psychologically unburden the self. So could decision tree artificial intelligence become as complex as human creativity, which draws on memory, emotion, and motivation? Could spontaneity and novel perspective, all hallmarks of creativity, be achieved by a computer? Computer scientists have been working on the creativity problem for quite a while. In 1952, British computer scientist Christopher Strachey programmed the Mark I baby computer to generate love poetry from a database of romantic verbs and nouns. The result? Honey love, my anxious fondness impatiently yearns for your craving enthusiasm. You are my breathless infatuation, my darling affection, my ardent liking, my covetous fancy, yours anxiously, M-U-C aka Mark I Computer. Today, artificial intelligence is being used to autonomously create everything from robotic band members to original compositions, food, music, fictional stories, enhanced product design like toothbrushes, to neural networks simulating human cognition. All pretty highbrow creative feats. But can a computer take on one of the more primal human creative acts? Freud claimed that a toddler's fascination with his own poop stems in part from his pride in producing it. It's a child's first awareness of the ability to create. So let's see what a machine can do in that department. Behold the Cloaca machine. Belgian conceptual artist Vim Delvoy constructed a 39-foot-long machine made to digest meals prepared by a professional chef. In an attempt to recreate digestive juices, he added 400 types of acid. The result? Poop. Lots of it. And much of it? Quite fragrant. But does the machine look proud of itself? And could a machine digest the human experience and create a unique expression of it in the form of a painting? The Painting Fool software, created by computer scientist Simon Colton, has algorithms that draw on information obtained from the news. This colors the program's outlook, allowing a kind of unpredictability and tone in what it creates. In fact, the program not only learns and improves, it also makes observations and critiques of its own work. And it's that ability that makes the program pretty moody. During a portrait exhibition, the program produced zero paint paintings one day, reporting that it had decided not to paint after reading a news clip about an earthquake in Italy and learning about terrified residents. Yep, the program was depressed. It would appear that artificial intelligence is poised to tackle creativity, generating novel, thought-provoking works of art. But, according to programmer Selmer Bringsjord, until the machine creates something that completely demystifies the programmer, it can't truly be considered a font of visionary ideas and works. So who's really the creative one here, the programmer or the machine? And do you think a computer could really replicate the heart and soul? soul of the human experience? Let us know in the comments below. And to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe.